Instructomania presents the economy of ancient India. This video will detail which natural resources were available to ancient Indians, the types of goods ancient Indians produced, with whom products were traded, and the methods of transportation used to trade. The word economy through a historian's lens means how a civilization makes money through the buying and selling of goods and services. Some examples may include utilizing resources and trade routes, producing agriculture, and manufacturing products in order to make money. What natural resources were available and which products were made by ancient Indians? Ancient Indians, called Harappans, used natural resources such as timber, gold, silver, and semi-precious gems. They also used fresh water to irrigate crops, and they fished abundant water sources for food. The Aryans, or Indo-Europeans, migrated into northern India about 1500 BCE. This helped increase trade of products like cotton and sugarcane that the Aryans brought with them. Indian artisans produced fine pottery, cotton clothing, and gold jewelry from local resources and agriculture. Who did ancient Indians trade with and in what ways were goods transported? The Harappan culture of the Indus Valley used wheeled wagons or carts to get products from farms and natural resource mines to cities. From there, camel or donkey caravans awaited to take them over land to other countries. Ships docked at coastal ports also took goods on international trade routes via the ocean. Indus Valley cities lived by trade. Farmers brought food into the cities. City workers made such things as pots, glass, and stone beads and cotton cloth. Traders brought the materials and took away finished goods to trade in other cities and international destinations such as Egypt, Mesopotamia, and even China. In fact, there is evidence that silk, a product of China, was the most traded product in ancient India. Historians believe the first long-distance trade occurred between Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley in Pakistan around 3000 BCE. We know Indus Valley traders were there because Indus seals have been found in Mesopotamia. Long-distance trade in these early times was limited almost exclusively to luxury goods like spices, textiles, and precious metals. Ancient Indians used a standard set of weights and measurements for trade. These were essentially cubes of different sizes that served as standard weights to ensure an exact amount of a good was traded. Later, Indians of the Gupta Empire traded knowledge in building, agriculture, and medicine all over the world through land and sea routes that connected Arabia, China, and Rome. Let's play Track the Trade Goods. Can you track the product on a map? In this game, there will be three products departing at once from different areas to different destinations. In this first round, you will track the cotton as it travels on the map. There will be other products that may distract you, but keep your eyes on the cotton. Watch the product closely as it travels on the map. Where did the cotton end up? Was it India, China, Rome, or Egypt? That's right, the cotton ended up in Rome. Let's play again. This time you will track the silk. Where did the silk end up? Was it India, China, Rome, or Egypt? That's right, it ended up in Egypt. Let's play one last time. This time you will track the sugar. Where did the sugar end up? Was it India, China, Rome, and Egypt? That's right, it ended up in Egypt. As you can see from the game, Making money motivated ancient Indians to grow crops, make products, and travel vast lands to trade. Consider this. In what ways does making money motivate people today? Be prepared to support your answer with examples. From two teachers to all of you amazing teachers out there, we would like to thank you for choosing our resources to use in your classroom. 
Find more Instructomania teaching materials and lessons at our Instructomania store and on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support.